What's up guys? So this seems to be the time that I uh, have the time to uh, do videos while I'm driving around in the work van. Um, so as the title of this video says, the struggle was real with this. Um, the decision to downsize my tank. Um, I had got the 40 breeder all set up, got the light, got my MP10, um, filled the tank up with water. Um, you know, half half the water from the um, from the big tank, and then uh, you know half water was new. Filled the sump up, had a uh, small thing or a small thing, a small pump running as a return pump, and uh, it came time for me to start unloading the big tank. Um, you know, I was starting to uh, treat the rock that I was keeping. Uh, for the 40 breeder with a uh, flatworm exit so that way I didn't introduce uh, flatworms into the 40 breeder um, so I was starting to do that starting to get the tank all set up um, and you know <clears throat> I just I, I, I could I, I'm having a really hard time um, taking down this tank that I built um, so, with this, the uh, discussion with my wife, um, you know, we had, <laughs> this became a, a topic at, at our house um, with me downsizing the tank. I've, I've just, I've been really having a hard time with it because I just love the hobby so much. I put so much into this new tank build. Um, you know, it's basically the dream tank, you know, all the dimensions. I built it specifically for what I wanted as a dream tank. You know, the aquascape, everything about this tank is just what I've always wanted. <clears throat> um, so anyways, uh, wife and I just kind of had a, not too lengthy of a conversation, but we had a conversation about the tank and, uh, breaking it down and downsizing and getting rid of corals that I've had forever, getting rid of fish that I've always wanted. So basically, um, I got a, a good amount of time over the weekend. I wasn't working and, um you know, started cleaning up the bigger tank. Um, so what's going on is I've already started um, sucking out as many flatworms as I can. I'm going to do about three to four days, maybe a week, of sucking out flatworms out of that tank until, you know, their population is pretty small, and then I'm going to treat these, the, uh, the big tank with flatworm exit and um, get rid of them out of that tank, get that tank all cleaned up. And um, so the decision was made that I... I just can't do it. I can't downsize. Um, once, once the reality hit of me getting that little 40 breeder all set up, and uh, you know, looking back and forth from from the 40 breeder to to my big tank, just I can't. I just cannot do it. Um, and trust me, guys, this is this is no ploy for for views or anything like that. This this was really happening. I was really downsizing. I just cannot do it. Um, so, I don't know what I'll do to, uh, you know, help with the upkeep of this tank. I might fucking, I don't know, hire, like, one of the neighborhood kids that wants to make a couple extra bucks a week to come clean the glass and, you know, I don't know, figure it out. But, um, I just, I can't do it. I, I was right there, you know, I was starting to transfer rock over and everything. The tank was up and running. The 40 breeder was up and running. I mean, I bought all the equipment for it. I just cannot fucking do it so I'll be bringing you videos of the big tank um, right now I got a 40 breeder up and running for no reason right now um, not really sure I'm gonna do anything with it I just might sell the the tank as a package a running package you know um, it is a running system there's just no livestock in it I mean it's got a AI sole on it an MP10 a return pump, a sump, I mean, the system is up and running, um, and I don't have a video of it running because this decision was made as I was setting this one up, it just, reality smacked me in the face, and I just couldn't, I tried, I really tried to just go, you know, just do it, and you're already here, but I just can't do it, so, anyways, I won't ramble this on too long, just, uh, that's what's going on, guys, we're gonna be the big tank is still going to be, um, I'll be bringing you guys some videos of the flatworm treatment and all that stuff, 
And uh, if there's anything you guys want to see with this tank, I know a couple of you guys are asking for a walkthrough of this uh, big tank of my DIY tank. Um, let me know in the comments what it is you exactly want to see on this, or should I do some sort of series with this tank? Because um, a walkthrough, I mean, that could end up being a really long video with this tank. So um, if you guys can in the comments, just let me know uh, what it is you want to see with the tank. Um, so yeah, guys, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, some of you may have been looking forward to the 40 breeder build, but I can't do it. I just can't flat out can't do it. I tried and uh, I'll have to make some sacrifices somewhere along the way to keep this tank up and running because I just can't do it. So anyways, alright guys, we'll see you in the next one.